Good morning. This is week 10. Oh my goodness. We are getting through this first semester and I'm so happy about it. Today is Tuesday, October 24th. I'm on my way to class. Y'all, I really be wanting to be a good YouTuber, but I don't know. Um, it just takes a lot out of me. I missed it so much and it's so funny. I woke up this morning to some comments on one of my carnival vlogs. <laughs> She said, oh, I just came across this vlog and I didn't like the vibe at all. I think that's what she said. And then she proceeded to leave another comment and said, does he speak? Does he ever speak? My God. And it's like, sis, keep the channel. The name is Kiera Marche for a reason. It's my channel. Go to his fucking channel. Oh, he don't got one. Not only that, it's like, I watch tons of YouTube videos. Like, I am a huge consumer of YouTube videos. I love vlogs. I love just looking at people's everyday, regular ass lives, you know? Nothing spectacular or anything. And it's just like, if I come across a vlog I don't like necessarily, guess what I do? I just click off of it. Sometimes I just watch the whole video, let it um, just roll. And I don't even be watching it. I just do something else. But to leave a comment is crazy to me. I mean, that's what the comment section is for, though. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions and all. But it's just like, I don't know. I just don't have that much energy in me, you know? Like, the dang, does he ever speak? My God, I was cracking up like, uh, actually, he does not. He's not allowed to speak. But, no, that was funny. Anyway, yeah, I am wearing my purple today because it is, I believe it's National Dental Hygienist Week. And today, I don't know, something about October 24th. But um, we were asked to wear purple today. Um, to acknowledge the National Dental Hygiene Mom, and we're gonna take like a class picture again. Y'all know how they love them class pictures. One thing about it, the hygiene program is gonna take some damn pictures. Class of 2025. It's kind of late. I got class in like 45 minutes, and I'm literally just not hitting the class. Do not try this at home. I normally don't leave this late, but today I really had a slow morning. Took my time. I was up at like six o'clock. I didn't start moving around until like 6:30. But I just wanted to take my time what's the rush i also want to go outside like i haven't done nothing it's so crazy being like a loner and anti-social for the most part because i mean i'm very sociable like i can talk to anybody but i prefer to be alone like i literally genuinely enjoy being alone like i love being in my own space but sometimes it's like when i commit to do something i regret it i know a lot of people feel that way but it's like i really don't like to make like hard commitments because sometimes I just want to be alone. After clinic today, we're going to a Mexican restaurant. Some of the girls, we all getting together and going to get some food because we have to stay after to attend the CE presentation. I know we gotta have so many CEs. We'll continue education credits before we graduate. So I think we need 12 total. Three can be self-paced, nine of them have to be like live hours. So. Tonight's presentation is gonna be two full hours. We just have to get seven more, I think. Which shouldn't be hard. So I think over the breaks and stuff, I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting my CEs done. I've done so many CEs over the last 10 weeks alone. I also gotta renew my Danby certification. <sighs> Luckily, I got all these damn CEs because usually, I ain't gonna lie, last year I did not get that many CEs as, as I was supposed to get, but they don't really check. I think they're supposed to audit you. They might audit you sometimes. They never audit me. But it's okay because now I have plenty of CEs actually. So I need to just go ahead and pay for that pretty much to renew that so I can continue using my CE CDA credentials, which is pretty much the only thing that it brings is the fact that you get to use those credentials. And um, it allows me to place sealants and corona polish still i'll be so glad when school is over in 18 months my life is going to change in more ways than one i just be thinking my mind just don't stop sometimes i wonder if i should get like anxiety you know medication for anxiety because i'd be so inside my own head it's sometimes it'd be unbearable sometimes but not to the point where like i want to you know hurt myself or anything like that but it gets the best of me sometimes, so. I don't know, y'all, I don't know, but I'm about to listen to some music. Um, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <sighs> y'all, it's my day three hair for me, though. My hair is looking so good. I'm so proud of it. 
Hey girl. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy we didn't have to bring all them damn bags today. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to show y'all my day three here. It's looking good still. Remember I was talking about how um I felt like um when I do coils they don't last as long, but I think the trick is just to leave them alone. Like yesterday I just sprayed them a little bit and then kind of touched them, but not did too much to it. And I kind of like this. But I will say that this is like one of the number one things that students miss because- Hey, I just got out of class. I am on my way home right now because I left my blood pressure cuff at home and we need it for a clinic today. Um, I could have borrowed somebody else's cuff, but my stethoscope is also at home and I need to go get all my stuff. That's what be happening um, when you don't pack the day before you're supposed to. I should I should have packed last night. I got about an hour and 15 minutes before I need to be back. Really, I don't need to be back that early. I just need to, I got a clock in by 1.50. So I just want to get all my things get back to the school in the next hour or whatever. I'm gonna change my clothes at home, might as well, I'm gonna be there anyway. I had a pretty good class. Today was all over like medical histories, blood pressures. Um, the way my class is going, she did not start us with medical histories of blood pressures because honestly, that's something that you can do and learn at any time. Um, what's most important is learning the instruments, obviously. Like we need more time with the instruments, so I'm very happy that she did it this way. Like. That way we literally, we jumped straight into instruments um, and then everything else kind of came after that. So yeah, that's pretty much where we at with it. Last week we started blood pressures, which I've done put blood pressures before, like mainly I had to learn that. Why are we slowing down? No, not getting stuck in traffic. My first time learning blood pressures was probably nine years ago. Yeah, I want to say I was a DA for at least a year already, a year or two, something like that. And I had to learn it working for a health center in Michigan. Because as y'all know, um, when you work for public health and in health centers, it's like y'all are focused on, it's patient center and you focus on whole body wellness. So a whole, the whole patient. So we're not just, yes, we are dental, but we're also looking at signs for other concerns, you know, like, cause you can look in the mouth and see signs for diabetes, uh, all kind of things. And you could just inform your patient based on what you see in the mouth, like refer them to the the appropriate providers, things they should and shouldn't be doing, checking blood pressures, even you're able to identify uh, early signs of hypertensive, hypertension, um, all those things. You, you know, we are in a minute, we finna learn how to do check blood sugars and stuff like that. Like that's something that I've never done before. Um, I remember when I was younger, my granny, she had diabetes and she would let me administer the, she would let me administer her insulin. And it's so interesting that she did that. I was never ever afraid of giving shots or needles or anything like that because she did. But I never understood what was happening. Like I remember her checking her own blood sugar, but I never knew how to read that. I don't really know what's the healthy blood sugar and what's the elevated blood sugar, low blood sugar. Like I don't know any of those things. So I'm gonna be learning that in the next few weeks. Everything is just going really, really well. It's already week 10, can you believe it? And your girl don't got not one. CEP, woo woo, knock on wood, doo, doo, doo. We got a skills test coming up in maybe about a month, probably a little before a month because it's right before Thanksgiving. It's just going, y'all, and it's crazy because by the time our skills test get here, we're gonna have a couple weeks left and we we up out of, we up out of there. We're gonna have a two week break, yes, yes, yes. Not really a break because you still gotta practice, you still gotta do all kind of things, you know, while you're on break because we gonna start seeing patients in about a month after that. So it's like, girl, you just gotta keep on. Keep on keeping on. I'm just gonna be practicing all my instruments today. We are working on the Barnhart, I believe. I think today is Barnhart. Yeah, Barnhart is next. It's another curate, but it's a universal curate. So we're gonna be working on that. I really do like my hair like this. Like, it's a different look for me. Um, but I'm just happy to have hair on my head, y'all. Like, it just, like that's my hair like how do y'all decide that y'all want to make permanent decisions like get married have children buy a house how do y'all decide those things because it's like i'll be so up in the air about if i want to do something or not like life is all about choices and it's like how do you know when you're making the right choice how am i supposed to know that like i'm barely supposed to be an adult right now and i'm supposed to make those decisions like i just feel like i'm not the person for the job i don't want to make those decisions 
those are some permanent ass decisions marriage marriage is not it is a permanent decision but at the same time it's not y'all see what the fuck be going on and it's a shame because that should have been you know like a permanent decision it is a bigger decision but i won't say it's a permanent decision because it can be changed a child is a permanent decision regardless if your child lives or dies that is always your child you know <laughs> the carcass whatsoever oh my goodness what a morning i learned how to deal with their ass at this office though because they will really try to run you around like you a rag doll or something and i just take my time i'm like uh-huh mm -hmm. give their ass a thumbs up real quick oh it's time to throw these glasses away there's a crack in them look at that i don't know if i can see that oh damn they lasted a good three years that was a interesting morning i am on my way to somewhere that i shouldn't go but i'm going anyway because why not i have ten dollars at crumble cookie so i'm about to go get me a cookie because that's what i wanted it and i'm grown i do what i want to do i do have a banana that i should probably eat but i'm gonna eat a cookie instead i'm just trying to do everything that's free is there a car wash over here too my car is disgusting and i really want a car wash oh it is right here boom there's a car wash but is it cheap though that's the question remember back in the day you can get a car wash for like five six dollars do they still got those i just want to run through real quick just wash the dust off my car that's it we did a root canal this morning on a molar tooth and that was all right the problem is the front desk person does not know how to fucking schedule patients that's the problem she just schedule people like we could just do shit like bitch you do realize i don't know where her problem is but anyway so when she just be double scheduling people she'd be like oh such and such uh-huh okay is what i do to her ass baby i get to them when i get to them i'm not about to be doing all that running around like i'm ragged and then i'm the one doing all the notes i'm doing everything so literally i take my time with this shit because <laughs> what you gonna do about them <laughs> what, what's the what you gonna do about them go don't let people mistreat y'all. Mm -mm. Set your price. If they don't want to pay it, don't do no extras. I'm not doing no extra work. I'm just doing just what's in my scope. I did a couple Cremona polishings today. I had the floss of floss threader and all the good things. People do not clean their teeth correctly. Regardless if they are patients in public health or private practice, people don't know how to brush their teeth. So it's like, that's why we're here. We're here to teach you because y'all don't fucking know. Y'all think y'all know, but y'all have no idea. I will say being back after having to sub at those other offices, it feels much better. And I like the pace a lot better here. Um, just because I can kind of just do my own thing. I don't feel, well, I don't feel lost anymore. It took me what? I started there about a month ago, six weeks ago. And six weeks ago, I was like, oh, hell no. But honestly, it's not that bad. It's small. It's just me, the doctor, the front desk lady on Fridays. Um, the hygienist, she be there too, but it's usually just us. The doctor and the front desk lady, they do not have a good relationship. Either they got too good of a relationship or not a good relationship at all. Because all they do is fucking argue all day. They just bicker and argue with each other. Nothing makes sense. Um, they be trying to be little smart asses. I'm a smart ass for real, not for fake. So <laughs> baby, I can give it right back to so they ass. But it's just so much of a misunderstanding or miscommunication there. It's ridiculous. But I just learned to just let that shit go. Let it not get to me. It has nothing to do with me. That's their bullshit, not mine. Um, but also, it's a part of, it's the whole letting go and realizing I'm not in control of nothing. These are not my offices. I'm literally just filling the space right now. 
um, you know, until I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, like it's just not that deep. Yeah, yeah, who got $10 crumble cash? I do, because at my last job, we used to order crumble a lot and I used to always put it on mine so I can get the points. <laughs> Thank y'all, because now I got $10 in crumble cash. I'm gonna get one cookie though. Cookies are like, what, $5? So I can get two cookies technically, but I'm just gonna get one for today. I feel like I'm back in my blogging bag and I like that, <laughs> I like that a lot. But I got the carrot cake cookie. Mm. What does it smell like? Mm -hmm. But crumble cookies, I just wish the middle. Oh, this one seems pretty done. Yeah, because the last one that I got was like really soft on the middle. I don't really like that. It was a chocolate chip one and it was super soft. But ooh, it's crispy on the outside. Mmm. That's the cookie. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Let's bite the whole thing. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's the frosting for me. Ooh, I can get a free fry from Chick-fil-A right now. And I'm about to. Can I try that honey pepper pimento? Honey pimento pepper. I don't know. But dude that's in that uh commercial, I swear he make me want to get one. He be like, go pimento, go cheese, go honey, and go get it. I ain't never ever ever been to a Chick-fil-A that's not fucking busy ever in my life. Should I just get the free fry? Good, how are you? I'm really good. Um Yes, Kira. Do y'all have the new honey pepper? Yeah, y'all do. I keep hearing that commercial and I want to try it. How much is the sandwich alone? Is it expensive? I think it's like seven or nine. Are you serious? For the it's, sandwich? It's really expensive. Okay. Well then. <laughs> fair, I tried it once. It's, it's very good. Is that good? It's got a, I think why it's very expensive, it's got like a lot on it. So the normal sandwich is just like chicken, pickles, and a bun. That's five oh nine. Okay. That one is seven oh nine and it comes with like the cheese on top and the what is it? Jalapeno peppers underneath. Oh, okay. Is it just like a melted cheese or something? Or what well, is it? It's kind of hard to explain. Okay. I can if you want, I can get you like the side of that cheese if you're in <laughs> order and then you can see it. Oh, so, okay. So the sandwich has honey and that cheese. Is that yeah. the difference? Okay. And it also has those jalapeno peppers. And the jalapeno and the peppers. peppers. I'm actually just going to do, I'm going to have a small fry. For sure. And then, I can't see a thing. I normally order on the app. I'm sorry. Um, Let's just do the small fry and I'll do ketchup with that and that's it. For sure. Because <laughs> I, I, yeah, I can't. No make problem. decisions that quick. <laughs> I just really need something to balance this um sweetness that I just got. Mm, 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 mm. That frosting is so good. Actually, it's probably a little more sweet than I would like it to be. But I love cream cheese, cream cheese frosting. I really do. Good morning. It's Thursday, October 26th, and I'm on my way to class. It's 9-11, so my class starts at 10 o'clock, y'all. I knew this was gonna happen. I was getting to class like an hour early, I'm just sitting there. Baby, that's over with. I get there right on time. And something's telling me that I really wanna stop somewhere and get like, I don't know why I feel like I need hash browns. I think I got food in my purse though. Like I got peanuts and stuff like that. Honey roasted peanuts. But um, not my purse, my bag. I am drinking a green tea smoothie that y'all saw me make. Ooh, hi. <laughs> ah! No, why is it a bee right here, y'all? We both closed our window at the same time. Oh no. Oh no, he got to go. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want that bee to get in here. Okay, he's, no, nope. oh, he gotta go. Where's my spray? I'm gonna spray his ass. I'm gonna spray him. I'm sorry, I'm so, it's, okay. Child, I'm gonna spray him with my air freshener. 
And then I have, oh, where is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have a couple napkins, please? Thank you much, you too. That bee was trying to get us, y'all. Oh my goodness. But anyway, yeah, because she don't never put no fucking napkins in the bag. <laughs> nah, she cool though. She always be at that window. Baby girl be working. She should remind me of me back in the day at the coop. They just see microwaving this. I don't know why I keep buying this because I know it's not good for me, but it tastes good. Just came out the microwave, fresh out the microwave. Okay, I gotta get back to listening to WGCI morning show because they be having me cracking up. So bad. Talk to you later. Back around the family. Also, oh, we got it. Hi, people. Hypocalcified enamels typically when they're where they were related to the fish. Class was so boring today. Medical and emergencies was okay, but anatomy, I'm just so happy we got a good six weeks left. I told myself that it's gonna be the last week that I take some of that candy that they bring to that class. Y'all, they be bringing us candy every week. And I, I indulge in it every single time. Usually it's just anatomy class, but today, my medical emergency teacher, he bought candy too because it's about to be Halloween. It's like, what are we, 12? But look at me. I can't help myself. I forgot to tell y'all. Yesterday, I did a Corona polish on somebody with full brackets. And I've never done that before. Um, and I also flossed every single tooth I did, um, you know, with the floss threader. And that was my first time ever flossing somebody else's full mouth with the floss threader. It took quite some time. It took maybe like... I'm gonna say 10 minutes to get his full mouth done. But I'm sure the more I do it, the you know, quicker I'll be. to show that you can't always make judgments based on first experiences because had I judged this on my first experience would tip me I would not be tipping again but luckily I gave it another try at a different office and it's not so bad so I've been going through my footage and realizing I got a lot of car footage and I don't want to have a lot of that so I am done talking to y'all bye see you later